that I totally got that. When you when you look at that, obviously one of the things that we looked at with uh, inductive automation software was to create a licensing model that would be end user friendly, if you will, uh, by providing a server based licensing model with unlimited tags and unlimited clients. Uh, is that valuable to you, not just in the short term economics of the purchase price, but also in terms of flexibility and expansion plans as you develop your own three and five year plans? You know, the, uh, the number of uh, tag licensing issues did come into play for our district. We had an ozone system that was a standalone product, and we went to merge that ozone system in with our uh, main plant SCADA system. The ozone system licenses were not, didn't have a high enough I.O. count. And they no longer offered an I.O. count uh, that was the next step up. And so we had to purchase uh, significantly more expensive licenses addressing exactly that feature. In our treatment plant as a whole, we have uh, 16 SCADA terminals where operators can enter new set points and acknowledge uh, alarms as they move through the facility. And when you're looking at a classical SCADA system, you're looking at four or $5,000 per computer to license it. So to have a computer that has uh, no, licensing ish, no licensing requirements on the client is very attractive. Another way in which it's attractive is using Internet Explorer as your client software um, makes the system easier to administer in that I don't have to install various versions of the SCADA software and patches to try and make a system work. I simply use Internet Explorer that comes with the uh, PC you know, almost directly from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. That's good. What, is that, what does that mean? Tell me that in terms of time. How long does it take? You want to, you want to launch a new client. Uh, compare maybe system A, system B to launch a new client. Um, it used to take me typically uh, probably about half a day to set up uh, 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 my uh, classic SCADA system because I would have to get the, the disks and then the update patch on the disk and I would you know, have several disks that I would have to load and install the operating systems. I was able to shorten that by moving some of the CD copies to a, a, a network storage drive and running from the network storage drive, but it still takes you know, a few hours to set up a brand new PC to get it to where it can run the SCADA system. Whereas Internet Explorer is pre-installed, and so once the computer is bootable, well, then you're pretty much done. So it's minutes, not hours. Right. In addition, it also adds a level of um, higher availability in that if I have a computer system that were to crash, I no longer have to rebuild a SCADA box taking me four hours. I can grab an office machine and with a couple of configuration changes on its IP address, move it to my SCADA network, and I'm good to go. That's great. That's great. Thanks. How does inductive automation software, how has it assisted you with uh, California's uh, you know, state reporting requirements? Um, our water district takes and logs the uh, requirements for the surface water treatment rule, things like uh, chlorine and turbidity uh, into the database and then that helps generate our monthly report. In addition, we have a large distribution area. Uh, we cover a 50 square mile area at 50 sites. And what we do from our tanks and pump stations is we, we load tank level, suction, pressure, and flow rates. And that is also logged to the SQL database. And our distribution manager is able to use Excel to pull up uh, very nice summary reports that he's been able to create. Um, because the ability to run a report in Excel against an SQL database is very easy.